What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Florida State Dynasty. We got some things to cover before we get into the game. We're playing Vandy. They are 3-3. Three three. Miami is 3-3. Three three. Pittsburgh is 3-3. Three three. Carolina is 2-5. So up until the game against Florida, we might be able to win out and we might make it to the college football playoffs for the first time for the series, which would be incredible. Vandy is a good team, but we got Roadmaker, and he has been on fire. Only three interceptions for us with Tate Roadmaker, which is way less than what we have with Jordan Travis. So a lot to look forward to in this week. And before we get into unlocking a player, we're going to get into this game and unlock the player afterwards because we have a shot at getting even closer on some of the other guys that we got locked out from not to mention we'll also get more xp so we might be able to unlock two players so let's go over to vanderbilt and get a huge w we will start with the ball and we are ready here in vanderbilt should be a good game and ideally a blowout we need it look at a pass for mclean he holds on and he's gonna shed a tackle and then get tackled 24 yards. Good start. Third down and three. Tate looking to pass. Brian Bridges is open and he makes the grab. Sheds a tackle. Spin move. And he's in for the touchdown. Brian Bridges is on fire. He continues just performing amazing. 870 yards on the season. And we're going to take the lead. Now it's time to see what our defense can do against Vanderbilt. Can be play action. Look at a pass under pressure. Misses the sack over and over. And finally tackled, but he gets a first down. Play action again. Look at a pass on the run. Gainer can't get there. Lundy is going to push him and he's going to roll or something. Another first down, though. Second down and seven. QB on the run. Lundy can't get there. Finally makes a tackle. Another first down though. Now it's third and goal. I would expect them not to settle for a field goal if they don't get it here. Look at a pass. Up for the end zone. What a great diving catch. Joel in the end zone. And Vanderbilt is going to die it up. But we got to answer back. Tate is going to keep it. Tate has a first down. He had space. But... I was sucked into the defender. First down, though. We're really moving the ball now, and that should... No, we're going to snap it before... No. All right, so that's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one going on here in Vanderbilt. Third down, probably going for Bridges here. Oh, he's open. He's open. Fit in there. Nope. So close, but he ended up getting double covered there. We're not settling for a field goal. 40-yarder, I don't think we'll make it. Look at a pass. Ah, oh, throwing across body. McLean makes a grab. Not a first down, though. I mean, hey, a really good throw. Second down now. Pitch to the right side. Gainer is all over it. Loss of four. Ray is all over it. It's going to be a screen to the left side. And we're all over that. They'll only gain four, and they'll have to punt. Third down and 12. We got to convert here. We can't keep settling on drives. And we got sacked instantly. I didn't have any time there. Vanderbilt playing very aggressive all of a sudden. I mean, obviously, they get out of the 40. That's good field positioning for them. But if you saw, they missed catching the ball. They would have had better positioning. As he runs into a sack. Loss of seven. That's a good start to this drive. Third down and 12, under a minute before the half. Make a stop. Make a stop. He's sacked by three different defenders. All right, Burrell, make a play here. Got to give you some targets. Looking for Burrell. He's got it. Sheds a tackle. Gets out bounds. 24 yards. All right. We're looking for the same play. Probably going for McLean here, so we're not throwing to the same guy on the same play. Over and over for McLean. He makes a grab. First and goal. I think we might be close enough for Tate to take it. They're playing the running back. And Tate takes it in. Touchdown. And we're going to take a touchdown lead. 
with nine seconds before the half. Three games in a row. Tate Roadmaker has a rushing touchdown. All right, should be one final play before the half and they're gonna run the ball and it's gonna be fumbled. Oh, they recover though. And that's how we end the first half. I mean, the first half was crazy. So I'm not surprised it ended that way, but we're gonna take a 14-7 lead at the half. We gotta pull off a big win here. Here we go, first down for Vanderbilt to start the second half. It's gonna be a run to the left. Someone make a tackle, there we go. Here we go, third down and 12. Look at the passes right, under pressure. Gainer, I think tripped him, I, I'm not sure. All right, let's start this drive well. Hand off to the right side. Lawrence has space down the sideline. No one's there. 37 to beat. Oh, spin. Tried to spin around him by a huge rush by Lawrence there. Third and four, we're gonna throw the ball and probably look for Bridges here. Bridges get open. Oh, did I throw too soon? We'll kick a field goal. I hate settling for field goals, but we gotta go up by 10. Take the point and we miss it. I hate this kicker, man. Third down and two should be the last play of the third quarter. It's going to be a handoff to the right. That's a first down. And the end of the third quarter, Vanderbilt is cooking on this drive. And we are ready for the final quarter of play. Close game. It's going to be a play action. QB on the run and Gainer is there for the sack. Loss of six. And just like that, they're going to punt on fourth down. Not really at midfield. I guess it's smart, but man. You got to think, if you're Vanderbilt and you're already down, that's tough. Tate, look at a pass. I'm looking for Bridges. Bridges! Oh my gosh, you have to catch that, man. That's a touchdown. On third and sixth, we're going to try and run the ball. Kind of scary to do that. But you got to trust Lawrence here. No, we're not anywhere near a first down. We're going to lose two yards. Time is ticking down. I don't know why they're running the ball. You're down by a touchdown. What good is just tying the game going to do? Here we go. Right look at the pass. He's running, and he's going to be brought down. A little over a minute left. I think they're going to try and go into OT here. They're under pressure on the screen. Thompson is there. Makes the grab. Going for it and giving them the ball was kind of just a way to waste time at this point. Under a minute left. Right. Sheds a one sack. Throwing over to the sideline. We will get the ball and that should do it here in Vanderbilt. Both teams have no timeouts. Here we go. The kick is up. Please get in there. Oh my gosh. It's short. Who is this kicker and why does he suck so much? Will Vanderbilt be able to pull off a miracle and tie the game? Right look at a pass. Under pressure and he's going to be brought down. That's going to do it. We only win by a touchdown, but I will take it. A win is a win. Tate Roadmaker, your player of the game. Player stats, 7 for 14 from Tate. 126 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, only one sack on the game. I'm improving. Tate Roadmaker is the answer for this team. 11 for 107 from Lawrence. No touchdowns. Roadmaker with the TD 7 for 20 on the game. Not bad. And then as far as receiving, 3 for 50 from McLean. Burrell was 2 for 36. Bridges, 1 for 42 with a touchdown. Lawrence, 1 for negative 2. One drop in the game from Bridges. Seems like the usual at this point. As far as defense. Had a good amount of tackles for loss. We had about five sacks on the game. Fuller was two, Ray was one, Gaynor was one, and Thompson was one as well. Overall, a really solid game. Coming up, we are playing Miami, but we are six and two. I mean, this is huge. We're number 10, six and two on the year. We're looking at a chance at the college football playoffs. This is one of our best seasons, but Miami is gonna be a tough one. We're going to take a look at recruiting to see what we can do as far as unlocking someone, which by the way, Chase and his brother Logan are both going to visit this week. Wow. This Miami game is even bigger than before. Oh boy. That's going to be very, very tough. And you can see we're not in the lead on Chase. 
we're in third, so we still have a shot, maybe-ish, kind of. And Logan, we're number four on. We actually can't unlock either of them. So that really, really sucks. Actually, no, we can unlock Logan. Wait a second. I'm going to unlock Logan. Let's do it. We have unlocked Logan. We are going to try and go for him. It's going to be so hard to get him. But look at that. We're number two on Logan. And he visits in the game against Miami. If we win the game versus Miami, then Logan might commit that game. That is the biggest game of the season. Zay Jones, we're number three on. We'll see what happens there. My God, when we have no shot on. We're in the lead on Frank. That's awesome to see. Kevin, we're third on. Lamar, we're first on. We're first on a good amount of guys, actually. So that's awesome to see. I'm looking for the kicker, but I'm not finding him. That's very bizarre. I can't find him. But you can find some more content by me by clicking on one of the videos on the screen right now. Make sure you stay tuned because this game against Miami is going to be huge. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in my next one.